All right, in this video, there's going to be three moldboard plows plowing. We have a seven bottom Will Rich trailer plow hooked to the 8320, a six bottom Kaverlin semi mount plow hooked to the 4450, and a five bottom Will Rich semi mount plow hooked to the 4620. We also have a Coon plow, a seven bottom semi mount, but that did not make this video. So. Hope you enjoy the video, folks. It's just going to be a plowing video.
I think it's dry enough to actually uh, get to the planter now. I just wanted to get a little bit of footage of these guys. Now, Davey and Colt, my two nephews, they have never moldboard plowed before. We don't do much moldboard plowing anymore. And um, it's kind of a, it's an art, if anything else, uh, moldboard plowing. Now, this field here, they're plowing it in because the last time it was uh, plowed out and um, they're just plowing it in to kind of keep the because you're if you go one direction you're you're throwing the, the furrow one way and then if you plow it the other direction you're throwing the furrow the other so jared struck it out in the center and he plowed it back furrow plowing it in now that 4450 is the first tractor that i mow board plowed with my grandfather bought that new in 1984 i got a little story for you i can remember snowmobiling with a friend of mine in this field during winter break of 1984 and I remember seeing the tractor go by on Route 20. Route 20 is about a half a mile from here. I remember seeing that 4450 go by uh, when it was being delivered to the farm. It was during winter break. We had a friend of mine rode down to the farm. We had a 4440 that we traded in for it. I pulled that out of the machinery barn Bruce, the truck driver, backed the 4450 off the trailer, and I drove the 4450 into the shop. I was 12 years old. Pole barn. It was a pole barn back then. And this ground up here is actually the first ground that I plowed on as well. Bullboard plowed. I rode to my grandfather a lot. And a good friend of his actually lived in that house right there. Uh, Kip Baylor. Clifford Baylor lived in that house there. He used to own this farm. My father and grandfather bought this farm in 1979. And um, one day I was riding to my grandfather and he says, I think you can get this. I was all of 12 or 13 years old. And uh, he struck the field out for me. We were in this particular field again right here. And uh, he walked up to the house there and, and uh, visited with uh, Kit Baylor while I was plowing this field. And uh, it got to be dark. He came out and uh, jumped in the tractor and we went home. So, uh, kind of a little bit of a story here, but I gotta get to the corn planter. So, uh, Andrew called, he needs a charge cord for his phone. So, we're gonna deliver a charge cord to him and we're gonna get to the field. and. Try to get some corn in the ground here.